Rachel Hatton and I'm so excited to join you and talk all things about jewellery and gorgeous accessories. So I've had about four years experience now in the jewellery industry and travelling around the world in Africa, India and Hong Kong, uh, learning all about how to make jewellery and also how to source genuine gemstones. So I'm so excited to share that passion with you on screen. There are quite a few different types of pearls, aren't there? But it has to be Tahitian pearl that takes the crown when it comes to what Shakespeare once described as the queen of the pearls. A gorgeous, gorgeous good evening to you. My name is Rachel Hatton and it is so wonderful to see you for the Arezzo Dioro collection. This is a personal collection that I worked on with Sarah Bennett and it was a collection that was fundamentally inspired by the fact that I want you to own them. I'm here in Stratford-upon-Avon, Shakespeare's town, to talk to the locals all about this incredible new find of a gemstone. If I was to tell you that this gemstone comes from just one area in the world, it's completely natural, it has copper platelets in it that makes it glow internally, and it's named after the stars. It's called Serenite, it's set into solid gold. How much do you think it would be worth? About right, two and a half, three? Yeah, three thousand, I would have said. Four thousand pounds? Five thousand pounds? A fortune! I think over a thousand euros. What would your reaction be if I was to tell you that that's all you'd have to pay in gold? No way. A billy bargain. Goodness me. Very good. So how would you think what? if it was only that? That's a bargain. <laughs> I would buy it. Yes, <laughs> me as you know, Gemporia is all about fake nothing. So I'm here in London Fashion Week to ask the most trendy people in the city what fake nothing means to them. We're running a campaign called uh, hashtag fake nothing and we only bring real genuine gemstones. So what does fake nothing mean to you in terms of fashion? Fake, fake nothing, I mean it's better without than with something that has no value. You can never go wrong with jewellery. I keep telling my husband, oh you know I want this latest handbag for Christmas and so on. And then he surprised me with jewellery and I think, you clever guy, thank God I have someone at, at home with brains. In the Tuleli mine, just near the town of Loliondo, um, we were there and I was mining for this gemstone and I spent a few hours and all I found was a few splinters, nothing that's ever going to make the fasting table. But I was talking to the Maasai tribesmen who have been working from sunrise to sunset looking for this gemstone and approximately about three stones a day but each one maybe make about a third of a carat, about a carat mined per day. So it really does take a lot of time, a lot of determination and a lot of skill to spot the finest gemstones that you're going to wear.